Welcome to the first chapter of our thrilling tale, where the night is alive with mystery and the air is thick with anticipation. On this stormy Halloween night, the wind howls like a restless spirit, weaving through the trees that stand sentinel over a forgotten path. The moon, a pale ghost, peeks through the clouds, casting an eerie glow upon the ground. Here, for children stand, their breaths visible in the chill of the night. They are drawn towards the shadows that dance at the edges of a clearing, where a gothic library reveals itself, its towering shelves illuminated by flickering lanterns. Join us as we embark on this journey, where each step is a step into the unknown, and every shadow holds a secret waiting to be uncovered. The scene unfolds with Evelyn, known as Evie, feeling an inexplicable pull towards the shadows. Her curly chestnut hair whips around her face, framing bright green eyes that sparkle with a mix of excitement and trepidation. Beside her stands Max, with his tousled brown hair and glasses slipping down his nose, hesitating with skepticism etched across his features. He tugs at the hem of his graphic tee, seeking comfort against the unknown. Nina, with her long wavy black hair cascading like a waterfall, bounces on her toes, her bright blue eyes wide with wonder. Meanwhile, Leo, the quietest of the group, stands back, his cautious demeanor a stark contrast to Nina's bubbling enthusiasm. Together, they step closer to the library, a place where magic crackles in the air, thick with anticipation. As the children step closer, the library reveals itself, a gothic structure with towering shelves that loom like ancient sentinels. Flickering lanterns cast playful shadows on the ground, and the air crackles with magic, thick with anticipation. It's as if the very walls are alive, whispering secrets of the past. Evie's heart races. She can almost hear the stories begging to be told, the darker tales calling to her like sirens in the night. Max's voice breaks through the enchantment, a warning laced with concern. We shouldn't be here. What if these books are cursed? His words hang in the air, heavy with caution. But Evie, undeterred, steps forward, her fingers brushing against the spines of the books that seem to whisper her name, each one promising adventure yet hinting at danger. Nina, caught in the thrill of discovery, urges the group onward, her excitement infectious. Yet Leo remains rooted, his eyes darting between the shelves, sensing the tension that crackles like static electricity. The library is a labyrinth of shadows, and within its depths lie the echoes of countless stories, some forgotten, some waiting to be awakened. As the children explore, the atmosphere thickens, the whispers growing louder, weaving a tapestry of intrigue and foreboding. Unbeknownst to them, the true nature of the library is woven into the very fabric of their adventure, and the choices they make will echo through the corridors of time. With hearts pounding and curiosity ignited, they reach for the cursed books, unaware of the dark narratives that await them, each page a doorway to the unknown.